Welcome to this Excel video. In my previous video I used a complicated index function to pull out any records which matched a particular criteria. Today I'm going to, using the same data set, accomplish the same outcome but with a little piece of VBA. And what's neat about this piece of VBA is it's something that uh, I know when I first learned it I copied it and pasted it inside my Evernote file and uh, uh, I've copied and pasted it back into code windows many times and used it very effectively so it's a simple loop which will go through each row in the data set and pull out anything that meets criteria so to do so I am going to um, go into the developer tab and into visual basic so if you haven't got the developer tab you need to click on file options customize ribbon and you see over on the right hand side here developer needs to be ticked in my case it's already ticked but uh, if you can't see the developer tab that's what you need to do so into visual basic i go and here's our file it's called eaf37 i'm going to click insert module a module is basically like a blank sheet of paper where you can just start writing code so what i want to start with is a name so I'm just going to call this uh, sub basically means it's a sub procedure or a small procedure I'm just going to call it find data and so these are the three things that I want to be able to do during this little piece of code I have to declare some variables I have to clear out any old search results and then I have to find some records that match the criteria and, and put them uh, in the right place so, firstly, I want to declare some variables, and first thing I want to declare is a variable called athlete name. Not absolutely necessary, but it allows the code to look a bit cleaner and easier to read later. Athlete name is the name of the athlete we've selected with the drop-down box, and is the one that we want to check the entire database against. Next one I want to declare is something called final row. Final row is at the moment um, row 88 in our data set. It's basically the last row of data that we have. Now the reason for declaring this variable is it basically stops the, the code from having to search through um, all the rows in the entire spreadsheet. So there's over a million rows. We don't want to have the code run slowly because it's having to do uh, the entire sheet we just want it to stop when we get to the final row and the last one i want to declare is i now i is just a row counter i is going to um, allow us to step through each row um, row one row two row three row four etc so there are our, our variables that we've declared now we can get into uh, step number two which is clearing out the old search results. So if I just get out of VBA for a second um, and go into Excel, the outcome that we're searching for here is that anything that meets our criteria will be pasted here. So if we get down to a thousand rows, there may be quite a few data sets for a, a particular individual. So let's say starting in P5 and going down to Z50 let's say, that's the space that we want to clear out. So we have to refer to the sheets, this sheet is called data, then we have to refer to the range, and the range is something like that. You could go further down if you like, but um, we'll assume that it's unlikely there's going to be more than 45 records for any given person. And we can just use the clear contents command to get rid of all the information there, but not get rid of any formatting that we might have put in place. All right, so that's number two taken care of. Before we start the code, what we want to do is just add some information to the variables that we have declared earlier. So we want to tell it that
So what we want to do is tell Excel, tell VBA where athlete name is, where to search for. So as soon as you click the button to start this piece of code, it's going to look in cell P2 and set the value of P2, which in this case is Donald Chung, and set that to the variable athlete name. Now what we want to do for that, the variable final row is I'll just go to Excel. What we want to do is we've got two ways of doing this. Um, we could go to cell A1 and do control down arrow and that'll take us to the last record in our data set. <clears throat> now that method works just fine other than if you've got a brand new database with no rows of data in it. If you just have the title row and no data, hitting control down arrow will take you down to row 1,048,000. So we don't want that, but it has identified that uh, there is potential for a little bit of an error if we do this. So what you do is, is go to the bottom of, of the data set, or go somewhere well below where you expect the data set to get to. For example, I'll just use the main box to take me to row 10,000 and hit control up arrow. So rather than starting at the top and doing control down arrow, I start somewhere below it and go control up arrow. So if I replicate that process in VBA, it looks something like this. Go to sheets data, range A, 10,000, hit the control up arrow and record that, the row number, as our variable for final row. So we're going to get into writing a piece of code now that actually does the, the real business of this process. So what this for loop does is for all rows, from row 2 to final row, it looks at the following uh, test. If whatever's in the particular row we're searching in, so that's what this says, cells I1, that means if the row we're looking in if column 1 equals athlete name, then what we want to do is copy everything from column 2 to column 12 and then paste it somewhere else. So where we want to paste it is over here and initially the first um, record that we find that matches our criteria we're going to paste here the next one we're going to paste here, the next one we're going to paste here, until there's no more. So we can't just go to a particular row and hit paste. We have to do the same process that we went before to find the final row. We have to start at the bottom and hit the control up arrow. So I've put a little marker here. And this is what the code is basically doing. Each time it copies a record, it goes here goes control up arrow, down one, and then paste it. So let's look at that code. What it does goes to range P100, does control up arrow, it then goes down one row and across zero columns, and then does a paste special. And um, that just keeps the, the formula in number formats okay. When it does that, it goes to the back to the data set and looks at the next row. So it goes through all the different rows that match the criteria, and then it ends. So what I want to try and do is run this code and see what happens. So if I'm anywhere inside the code, I can just click the play button. And there we go, it finds what we're looking for. Now what I tend to do, because it's got the last row selected here, is I might just go something like that. So range P2 select basically puts the cursor back at the uh, athlete selection place, which is here. So the final step that I want to do is insert a little button. Um, 
let's say I can put it here you can allocate a button to a macro this works only got one so it's easy right click on it get it text find data so if I change Donald to Franklin and hit find data it works just fine so let's try Alex Douglas piece of cake so our little piece of code is working just great it's searching through all of the records in our data set and pasting them one at a time into here so thanks for coming past looking a little bit of VBA uh, a nice follow-up from the last option as it demonstrates that there's lots of different ways to do things and uh, another little journey into VBA for you see you next trip